Hi, my name is Rachel and you're watching the Rachelistic channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from my regular videos. I've been struggling a bit with trying to figure out what video I wanted to post next. I had some ideas. I tried doing those ideas. I just wasn't feeling it. So yeah, none of the ideas seemed like a good video or like something that I was really wanted to like look into and like make a video about. So yeah, I've just been trying to figure out what videos to make, I guess. But yeah, this video is not about that. So like the other day, well, yesterday to be more specific, I had a realization about myself and it's something that I thought would be a good idea to share with you guys because I think it might help somebody who's maybe feeling or like going through the same thing that I'm going through, I guess, or like has the same feelings that I have. So let's talk. Like I said, I had a realization, I guess, about myself yesterday. And what I realized about myself is that I limit my special interests. So like there are things that I know that I like, there are things that I know that I want to learn more about or engage with more. And like they are like on the cusp of being like a full fledged special interest. And I know that they can be a special interest, but I'm like, limiting myself from actually letting it be a special interest. I like stop myself from engaging with it, the certain things too much. It's not that I feel like there are things that I shouldn't be interested in. It's more just that like I have like, I have like internalized, I won't, it's not really ableism, but it's just like internalized kind of like thoughts, I guess, of things that people have said when I was like younger and growing up that make me not want to or like make me want to like limit my special interests if that makes any sense. So for example like when I was little I was the kid that actually liked Caillou and Dora. I know that a lot of people love to talk about how much they hate Caillou and how much they hate Dora but I actually loved watching those shows growing up especially Caillou. As I was thinking about this, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that Caillou was my first, like my actually first special interest because I loved watching Caillou. I had this like Caillou um, VHS tape that I, I loved watching. Like I watched it like a million times. Like I loved watching Caillou. Like it was my favorite thing. Like even for my like everybody in my house knew how much I liked Caillou. Like for my sixth birthday, <laughs> I had a birthday party and my sisters, they went to the store to get, get to get decorations for my birthday party and they got Caillou decorations and my cake was a Dora cake. Like, even though those were the two things, those are like the two shows that people always love to bash on so much. They hate them so much, but I really enjoyed them. So like, I remember being in kindergarten and like grade one. The other kids didn't know that I liked Caillou or Dora, or maybe they did know that I liked Dora, but I never said anything about Caillou. Um, and I remember the kids would talk about Caillou and Dora and be like, oh, it's for babies. I don't like it. it's like for babies and stuff. And so I would feel really embarrassed because like I like Caillou, but like I'm not a baby. <laughs> But yeah, like I felt embarrassed that I liked like Caillou and Dora as a kid because the other kids would say that it's like for babies. So then I felt embarrassed. Like I'm not a baby, but I like these things. And so I never wanted to tell anyone about it. And those types, I guess, I guess like the fear of being seen as like childish really stuck with me as I grew up because it's the same thing that is limiting me from like engaging in like all of my special interests or all of the things that I'm interested in because I am scared of being seen as babyish or childish I guess.
for example, like some of the things that I that are like on the cusp of being a special interest, like the things that I'm limiting myself from engaging in more because I don't want to be like childish or whatever, is like Barbie and Bluey, um, and I don't know, I can't think of anything else. Even though there's like tons of adults who are like interested in these things, I mean, I see them on TikTok all the time, <laughs> um, so I like, I like. I see them on TikTok all the time. I see full adults who are into these things. Even American Girl, like, kind of-ish. I'm probably more into Barbie than I am into American Girl dolls. But I see full-grown adults who are into these things on TikTok all the time. Like, it's, it's, being into these things I know does not make you babyish or childish. But it's like, I just have that like stuck in my head from growing up that even if I do see other adults and I do not I would never say that they're childish or they're babyish for being engaged in these things but as soon as I'm into it it's like oh no you can't do that because that's too childish it's like <sighs> yeah it's kind of like I hold a double standard for myself yeah basically what I realized is that I I mask my special interests which honestly, well, like, okay, I knew it was a thing, but not in the context that I do it. Like when I thought about someone masking their special interests, I would think about somebody who like, I don't know, say someone who's like super into lizards and then they just don't info dump about lizards, but everyone knows that they like lizards. They just don't really, they don't talk about it too much or they don't like I guess tell other people they kind of keep it to themselves but I never really thought of masking your special interest could be like you are literally limiting yourself from engaging in your special interest you know so now that I figured this out about myself um I want to like really work on unmasking my special interests and like actually engaging in the things that I want to engage in and learning more about things that I want to learn more about um, regardless of if they might be childish or babyish, even though they're not, because like I said, tons of adults are into these things, so it's not babyish. I just have to remind myself that it's not, and that you doing it does not make you childish because other adults do it and they are not childish, so therefore, Rachel is not childish, but yeah. That is something that I want to work on is unmasking my special interests. The first step to doing that for me today is I'm going to start watching all of those, all of the Barbie movies in order of when they came out because I really want to do that. So I'm going to do that. So yay. So I wanted to make this video talking about unmasking special interests because I want to like encourage you guys who might be going through or like I guess experiencing the same thing that I am like I mean maybe you don't feel like your special interests are childish but maybe you might think that they're weird or that they're not age appropriate or they're nerdy or uncool or something negative but I just want to let you know that if what you're interested in makes you happy makes you feel more like yourself, more fully yourself, then that's a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, like don't worry about what other people are saying, which is obviously easier said than done, I know, because I say it all the time and I still worry about what people think, but yeah, just like remember, like even if you, if you feel like you, you, if you feel like embarrassed or like you feel like the things that you're interested in aren't cool or are weird, like just remind yourself that like, hey, it's not weird. It's not uncool, you know? It makes me happy. There are lots of other people that are interested in the same thing that I'm interested in. So it's great. <laughs> Don't let other people's judgment stop you from enjoying your special interests. That is the main takeaway of this video. If there's nothing else that you remember from this video or if you were zoned out this entire time and the only time that you are paying attention is right now, 
This is what I want you to remember. Don't let other people's judgments stop you from engaging in your special interests, okay? Because they're your special interests and they make you happy and they make you feel like yourself and they're good for you. Special interests are good for you. So enjoy them and don't worry about what other people think because other people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> If they're judging you for things that you like, that's their problem, honestly. It's their problem. That's not your problem. It's their problem. So now the sass is coming out of me for some reason. I don't know. I'm kind of just being sassy and silly right now, but that's fine. I just get like this when I'm trying to say things and I don't know what to say, but I hope that the feeling, the message got across. So that's basically all that I wanted to say for this video. It's really short, but it's really just, you know, just be yourself, <laughs> which is such a cliche thing to say, but just, you know, don't worry too much about what other people think. You are allowed to enjoy the things that you enjoy. So enjoy them. <laughs> yes. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, if you felt encouraged, then please hit the like button so that it can spread to more people. If you have anything that you want to say, if you want to talk about your special interests that maybe you're a bit embarrassed about or you thought were weird but you still like it anyways and you want to talk about it, comment it down below. Or if you have any video ideas for me, you can also comment that down below because I do need some help with some video ideas. But I would like to know what you guys want to see, so also comment that down below if you have anything that you want me to make a video on. Finally, if you just if you like watching my videos, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post my next video. And stay Rachelistic or whatever your name is Istic. Let's unmask our special interests together and I will see you in the next video. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I was gonna do this and then I waved so it was like a weird thing there but goodbye. <laughs>